when I arrived it was pretty nervous to be honest with but you get used to it. I'd never been to a boarding school before and I came here and I was a bit homesick at the start because I'm not I wasn't used to it. Well I always say to the boys it's unrealistic actually if they and 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 not normal if they don't feel a little bit homesick. For the young ones who are firstly coming to this large campus, it, it can be daunting. However, the, the key to it is of course that the boys themselves throw themselves with energy into their activities and are busy. If you're always busy then you just, you're kind of happy and you forget a bit about home and then it's just a lot easier. I just very often get mothers ringing up and say, I haven't heard from my son. Um, you know, is he all right? Is he still there? Uh, yes, very much so. <laughs> he's so busy, I'm afraid he's, you know, just for finding it hard to fit, fit in a phone call, which is really good, and, and parents are quite happy, you know, when, when they hear that. <laughs> Matron's terribly important for the boys and for the parents in those first few weeks. So We're able to telephone you? her and find out what's going on. So I think perhaps don't go out in the cold wind today. Okay. Any time you're ill or you just don't feel that great and when you're a bit homesick or something like that, she's just always there to help and so that's nice. She's basically the person who you can go to for medical things but she's also there for pretty much anything else that you need. She does things like if a team's won a competition she might get them pizza or if it's someone's birthday She'll make sure they've got a cake or get them a card. She gets everyone a card for everyone's birthday, which is obviously really nice. The most important thing is to help you settle in is probably the upper years, because they've been through it all before. It's always been quite easy to ask questions for the older boys, because they've always been a constant part of life here at Harrow. They're always there, so if you do need them, it's never a problem to go up and talk to them. As soon as they arrive, they have a, a mentor, which is a, a sixth form boy, who should be keeping an eye on him. And then they have a shepherd, who is the boy in the year above, in the removes. Uh, your shepherd is a bit like your mentor. So sort of helps you, sort of guide you around. And if you've got a question that you think is probably silly to ask your housemaster, you can just ask them, because they were in the same position a year ago and they're very helpful and nice. The concept is of one of the, the, the kindly elder brother, one who is there to encourage, one who's there to help advise, one who's there sometimes perhaps even to intervene in certain scenarios that these older boys will do so. When I was in the shells, the house martyrs, they seemed really reasonable and kind, and um, yeah, I always went to them for help, and that was really, really useful. With regard to today, when we've got uh, normal chapel service at 9.45 and the thought for the day, 9.45 as well. The housemaster is absolutely key to the success of a boy at Harrow. To encourage that young man to develop his talents fully, to help that young man through times of difficulty, and to be it, and sometimes to provide the structure that developing adolescence need. The housemaster is a, is a kind of multifaceted one. Primarily we are um, leading the community and um, we're the guardians of the, the community in every single aspect. Clearly primary concern is pastoral care. He um, controls everything around here. He tells us what's going on and everything. He uh, helps us out. He makes sure we're doing the right thing, makes sure we get our work in on time. He comes in your room and sort of says, how was your day? And sort of, it's just checking that you're doing your work and seeing how general life is. I think the housemaster relationship is incredibly important for parents because it's your first and main point of contact. He keeps us up to date with regular reports with House of Our Functions, we're invited to dinners and special house events. And with email, he replies to us always within half a day. So he's, he's very important. 
there's a very strong and good re open relationship with the house master and one of absolute trust. We also have a health education tutor who is in effect an independent listening ear and counsellor. The health ed teacher is really useful because she tells you about stuff that you don't really know completely about and no one else would ever tell you about so it's, it's quite nice to just have someone that you can talk to about it. There are eight other tutors who don't live within the, the house and establish a very direct relationship with uh, half of a year group, let's say, ten boys. Our tutor's role is just sort of every sort of three days or so he comes in and takes and send ups and sees how our work's going and lately they've been sort of talking to us about our decisions for GCSE and, and just and also just life in general, just sort of making sure you know, everything's all right. They will help monitor academic progress. They will also take their little group out for uh, social activity. And that is also a fundamental part of the house pastoral structure. The chapel sits at the heart of the school and there are daily services throughout term time. The chaplain's role in the school is really to be parish priest to an enormously complex and varied community. A boy who has any issue knows that he can come and see me or indeed my Roman Catholic colleague to talk about anything and they know that they can do that confidentially. He's a very good listening ear for people who have problems whether they be in school or out of school. It's just nice to have someone to talk to you that's not involved in always seeing you and things and it's like an outside person to talk to you in a way which is quite nice. Boys will only achieve and develop their talents fully at Harrow if they're happy. This means that pastoral care is right at the heart of what we do. The, the philosophy behind our pastoral structure is that the boys are aware that there are avenues down which they can turn. There are people to whom they can talk. Certainly it's suiting our son and we're completely thrilled with the whole approach here and how it's working.